What's up, guys? Thanks for watching. So, if you haven't seen the pay-per-view already, I highly recommend that you go get it and watch it. I saw the matches in person, and they were great matches. There were eight great matches with multiple legends of the sport on the card. Now, um, if you watched my last video, I... Uh, I said I was going to write down my prediction, what I thought, how the match was going to go. Um, so here is my prediction. Nope, I need two hands for this sucker. So, that's what I predicted. So far, I've been like a uh, fortune teller. So I wrote that down, uh, I want to say uh, either Wednesday or Thursday, and um, I did win 3-0. Um, that being said, it, um, it was a lot closer than it looked. I, my, I haven't seen the video myself, I still got to go back and watch the pay-per-view. Um, like I said, I, I just got back Sunday. Um, around noon so I haven't even been in back in the states a full day yet but I definitely want to see the video myself but yeah it was a lot a lot closer than it looked Mike was extremely strong um, I could feel uh, in the setup I was uh, I kind of felt a little about one step behind Mike, I could tell that the experience was definitely uh, definitely made me worried in the setup. You know, each each round, it felt to me like uh, you know he he made changes in the setup. I could I could feel the changes, but I couldn't exactly tell. Uh, where he was trying to uh, attack, which in the setup made me a little worried, but I stuck to my game plan. Um, and one thing that definitely helped is Mike being a legend of the sport. There's uh, there's videos, there's tons of videos of Mike out there. Um, you know, there's 30, 30 years plus of videos I was able to watch and study. So uh, I, I watched a ton of video on Mike. By the time I got to meet Mike, I, uh, I already felt like I kind of knew him already. Um, so I think that really helped me in the uh, that really helped me in this match, being able to study study Mike's style and his directions. Um, one thing I I knew I definitely did not want to get stuck in Mike's hook. Um, Mike can top roll, he can press, but my opinion, Mike's hook is his most dangerous weapon. It's very, very sticky. There's a lot of power. And, uh, yeah, if you're pulling Mike, I would say stay out of his hook. Now, um... I think that may be it. I think that may be it. I want to say uh, thank you to Magna. She did a great job. The The event was uh, top notch. The venue was top notch. Um, I'm pretty sure 
all the uh, athletes would feel similar to me in terms of uh, she made us feel like uh, prof you know actual professional athletes you know hooking us up with the uh, you know food and drinks and you know make sure we have rides everywhere you know was, she really did a good job and uh, the whole entire crew you know um, there were a lot of a lot of moving parts and uh, there were some small problems um, but they fixed them very quick and uh, yeah they did great they did great uh, I, I hope I would like to uh, work with them again in the future you know because I can only imagine what the next one is going to look like you know um, but we'll see and um, it was great meeting all the fellow arm wrestlers you know, I met uh, arm wrestlers from, you know, all over the world, Sweden, New Zealand, Italy, you know, a bunch of Canadian arm wrestlers. I'm probably missing a few countries, but those are the ones I remember right off the top of my head. Um... I met my first slap fighter, if that if that's something you guys are interested in. Um, wasn't able to talk to him because I don't speak Polish and he doesn't speak English. But we were able to smile at each other. So I'll take that as a win. That's a win.